सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ फिजिकल फार्मेसी फर्स्ट चैप्टर रियोलॉजी ना वॉट इज रियोलॉजी रियोलॉजी इज कंपोज ऑफ टू वर्ड्स रियो मीन्स फ्लो एंड लॉजी मीन्स स्टडी दिस मीन्स स्टडी ऑफ फ्लो बिहेवियर इट इंक्लूड्स फ्लो बिहेवियर ऑफ सॉलिड्स एज वेल एज लिक्विड्स बट अंडर इंफ्लुएंस ऑफ स्ट्रेस अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग बिकॉज जनरली एनी डिफॉर्मेशन और चेंज अकर्स अंडर द इंफ्लुएंस ऑफ स्ट्रेस ना इफ यू मूव फॉर सॉलिड मटीरियल्स फॉर सॉलिड मटीरियल्स दे आर रेजिस्टेंट टू डिफॉर्मेशन मीन्स वेन देर इज अ स्ट्रेस देर इज अ चेंज इन सॉलिड मटीरियल बट दे अगेन ट्राई टू कम बैक टू इट्स ओरिजिनल पोजिशन एंड द प्रॉपर्टी इज नोन एज इलास्टिसिटी विच इज गिवन बाय हुक्स लॉ An example is spring, sponge, and any other solid material. But in case of liquids, which is our point of concern today, they are moderately resistant to deformation. This means once there is a deformation, the reversible process is not there, so the change is in most of the cases irreversible, and the property is known as viscosity, and this this is given by Newton's law. this means once liquid flows because of stress it does not come back to its original position fine now we will understand what is stress and strain and viscosity so that this chapter is easy to understand as i will give an example later on in my slides it is there but to brief you stress is a force strain is a movement so when you apply force material will move now how it is related to viscosity because the movement is regulated by the viscosity this means if viscosity is less material will move fast or you require a small stress fine if viscosity is more then either material will move slowly or you require more of stress so this means stress strain and your viscosity they are interrelated now the relationship between is basically defined by newton's law now we will discuss newton's law of viscous flow according to newton's law of viscous flow it is force applied per unit area of liquid is proportional to velocity gradient this means stress which is force applied per unit area is proportional to rate of shear or strain rate of shear is movement in the later slides i have given an example using glass and water what is stress and strain you just mix it with this to understand it properly but in the layman language any force which you are applying to the liquid is stress any movement in the liquid is strain or rate of shear so stress is denoted by s and rate of shear is is denoted by d or g in later slides fine so according to newton's law S is equals to meter into the next is rheological classification of fluids. So this is what we have to discuss in the upcoming chapter. The fluids are categorized into two types: Newtonian and non-Newtonian. Newtonian are those which obey Newton's law, whose viscosity is constant at all the times, irrespective of what force you are applying. Non-Newtonian are those whose viscosity changes with the application of force. viscosity can increase it can decrease when it is changing but not coming back that systems are called as time independent changes shown by plastic materials pseudo plastic materials or dilatant materials so behavior is known as plasticity pseudo plasticity or dilatancy but there are certain materials in which they are time dependent time dependent means when you are applying a stress viscosity will change when you remove the stress viscosity will again come back to its original position this is called as time dependency and based on it there are four types of materials which are available thixotropic anti thixotropic rheopexy and negative rheopexy all these systems we will discuss in the upcoming lecture